Hello my YouTube beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be doing a wear test, but this is a little bit different, this is a little bit different of a wear test. I actually have the brand new L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Foundation in a powder that I would love to test out against. Dun, 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 the original L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Foundation. This is the liquid version. I love this foundation. It's one of my favorites. Even though I have oily skin, it does so well. Like it's, it's one of, if not my favorite foundation. It just makes your skin look so beautiful, so natural without looking super oily. The lasting power is amazing. I have nothing bad to say about this. It's so good and I love that it's affordable. So when I saw they came out with a foundation and a powder, I was like, is that the same thing? <laughs> so today I'm gonna be testing out the liquid foundation on one side of my face and then the powder on the other, seeing if they wear any differently. The only difference I see right now is the shade color, but they look pretty similar. This, uh, the foundation and a powder, I have the shade porcelain. And then, cause ivory looked really deep in the powder. And then in the liquid foundation, I have the shade ivory because porcelain is too light for me in the liquid version. So if you enjoy wear tests and if you're excited for this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you are enjoying the content and want to stick around. So right now it is almost nine o'clock. I do want to try to wear this for 10 hours today. We'll see, I'll probably be longer. I'm gonna go in with my Tarte Timeless Smoothing Primer. This is one of my favorite primers, works really well with the liquid foundation, so I'm hoping it will work just as well with the powder. So I'm first gonna go in with the liquid foundation. I'm going to not apply too much because I don't want it to like blend over into this side of my face, which is gonna have the powder on it. One of the other kind of variables is whether it looks good built up with a brush. I mean, I'm applying the liquid with a beauty blender and then I'm gonna set it with some powder. The Fresh Wear Foundation Powder, I'm going to be taking just my normal powder brush. So we'll see how they're looking. The L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Powder Foundation is basically $12 of retail. All of the shades are like out of stock right now. So hopefully when this video goes up, they'll be back in stock. There's 12 shades that I see and I have the second to lightest shade, Porcelain. They're a little bit different than the liquid version of shades because the shades in the powder go Pearl, Porcelain, Vanilla, True Beige, Golden Beige, Ivory Buff, Sand, Radiant Honey, Radiant Sand, Hazelnut, Copper, and Deep Amber. So there's not even an ivory shade in the powder. It says it's supposed to be a matte finish. Up to 24 hour wear, provides full coverage, no excess, no transfer, waterproof, sweat proof, and heat proof. It's a natural matte finish. Formula is breathable and weightless on your face. Now let's compare it to the liquid foundation. Now the liquid foundation has a lot more shades. I'm just gonna read off kind of the first couple. We have Snow, this is from Light, Lightest Deepest, Snow, Rose Pearl, Pearl, Porcelain, Ivory, Beige Ivory, Warm Ivory, Rose Ivory, True Beige, Linen, Ivory Buff, Rose Vanilla, Vanilla, Natural Rose, Rose Beige, and then Natural Buff on is definitely like medium to deep skin tones but they have significantly more options for deeper skin tones in the liquid version. The liquid version is a little bit more expensive. It's, this is uh, $14.99. Again, I have like the third lightest shade. This says medium to full buildable coverage, natural finish. Doesn't say anything about matte. So this one might be a little bit more radiant on the skin rather than the powder, but we'll see. I'm excited to test both of them just cause I've been wanting to do this video for a while and see if they are similar. Like I said, the liquid version, the OG is so stinking good. It is just so beautiful on the skin. This is probably one of my prettiest foundations I have. Not cakey, not heavy looking, sits so beautifully, lasts, of super, super long time. So this foundation is just, uh, it's one of my longest lasting foundations. Like I can wear this under a mask, I can wear this for 
forever <laughs> and it still looks beautiful. All right, gonna go to like my part way here on my face. <laughs> so look how pretty that looks. Oh, it's so nice. So you can definitely still see my skin coming through this. Looks very nice, very healthy, very lightweight, and I'm liking it. Well, obviously I like it. I love this foundation. <laughs> With this, I have to apply my concealer first. So let's go ahead, yeah, and apply the concealer. I'm taking the CoverGirl Undercover, just so I'm not applying liquid on top of powder. I'm going to set down this side of my face with the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Again, these are all like holy grail products. I use them all the time. I know they work really, really well with my skin. Kind of weird not going all the way over on my nose. Ugh. Looking real nice. Now let's apply the concealer. And instead of using the Laura Mercier powder, I'm going to just set everything down with this powder foundation. And of course I'd wear a black shirt. It's getting all over me. <laughs> Apply the same amount of concealer there. Alrighty, now, yay, this, this part, the fun part. This is what it's looking like. I'm really hoping it doesn't come off this pale or I will just end up having different color skin today. <laughs> I'm hoping this is like a lower cost version of the Makeup Forever Matte powder that I love. I'm gonna take my same powder brush, just start building this up, okay? I'm gonna try to build it up to like the same look as the other side. It does come with this. I'm not gonna use this because I never use that, but just so you know, you could like take it on the go and use it out and about if you needed to touch up throughout the day, which this actually might be a really good touching up powder. Looks pretty dang similar right now sitting very, also very similarly. Like this side looks very similar to this. Built up very fast. Also, I didn't spend like a ton of time sitting here building up the coverage. Right now they look almost identical. How crazy is that? Here's the liquid side. Here is the powder side. I'm telling you, I cannot really tell a difference right now. Up close, like my pores look about the same. My forehead looks about the same. My nose looks the same. Like every, my cheeks, they literally look the same. This is trippy. <laughs> um, okay, well, there you go. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of my makeup. We'll be back and we'll see if like we can tell a difference. But right now they are looking 90% identical. The only thing I can say is in terms of how it feels, I can definitely tell that I have a little bit more powder on this side than on this side, but that's it. Like in terms of looking at it, looks the same. So I'll be right back after I'm done with the rest of my makeup. All right, you guys, I'm back. So here's how the rest of the makeup is looking. First off, I just wanna comment on this really awesome like lip combo I just figured out. It's the NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in the shade Valkyrie, I think is how you say that. And then I added the Rare Beauty Nearly Neutral Lip Gloss Balm on top. I love this combination. It might be like my newest favorite lip combo. It, the color is so pretty. I truly cannot even tell a difference when I'm looking at both sides. I think they both look really, really nice. The finish is very similar. I, it's hard to tell. This side might be just like this much more matte than this side, but I also use the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder on this side, which is mattifying. So, you know, that might have changed the effect of the foundation a little bit. I think if I just like applied the powder, applied the foundation without applying any additional powder on the foundation, it probably, like the radiance probably could would have come through a little bit more and you could see a difference better. I actually feel like this side on my forehead looks a little bit better than this side. This side looks like it's bunched up just a tiny bit right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and wear this throughout the day. Maybe I'll do like an eight hour wear test or something. The Liquid version is so long wearing, so I know how long it typically wears for. If this side is looking rough at the eight hour mark, then I know that it's definitely not as long wearing as the liquid version. So maybe I'll check back in here in 
I don't know, at the end of the day <laughs> and show you guys how they have held up. But so far looking real nice and very much the same. So um, I will check back at the very end of the evening. It is 5.30, so I've had this on for about eight and a half hours. I wanted to show you guys how it was holding up on my skin. So again, this side is the liquid foundation and this side is the powder. I will say something that I've noticed throughout the day it seems like this side is not getting as oily as this side. So you can definitely see some oil peeking through here um, on my chin, on my forehead, but it looks like on this side, it's a little bit less oily. <laughs> so I definitely think that the powder is more of a matte version compared to the liquid foundation. It kept my bronzer blush highlight on pretty much the same as the other side so in terms of longevity and like products looking good I'd say it's pretty dang even the only thing I would say is if you have more oily skin you want that natural really pretty skin like finish but you do want a little bit more matteness to the skin I would go with the foundation powder I personally like both looks I mean I could rock either one of these but I I'm very pleasantly surprised with the powder I think it held up um, a really good amount of time on my skin it's starting to rub off my chin just a little and on the tip of my nose other than that, like both of these are really good products. So I'd say if you have the chance to get your hands on the powder, I realize it's like sold out right now, but I think it's really good. So if, when it does come back in stock, you should definitely pick it up. Let me know down below, like, have you tried this? What are your thoughts? Have you tried and done like a comparison kind of like this to the original? I'd be super curious to know, but I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video here. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.